Hi friends, I'm here with the yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace, rest whenever you need to. Feel free to skip things or change things if they're not working for you today. Let's begin on our backs. You can come into a Shavasana type position. Go ahead and spread out. And either close your eyes or take a soft gaze up towards the ceiling. Allow the weight of your body to settle into the floor. Come into a nice slow rhythm with your breath. We can set an intention to keep this slow rhythm throughout our practice and come back to it anytime you notice that your breath has gotten shallow or quick. And you're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you throughout your practice. Let's begin by sliding arms overhead and stretching out long through your arms and legs, reaching through your fingers and your toes. And then interlace your fingers, press out through your palms, flexing your feet, reaching through the heels of your hands, the heels of your feet. And then release. Bring your right knee to your chest. Give that knee a good squeeze in, maybe a little jiggle, releasing deep into your hip crease. And then straighten your right leg up towards the ceiling, holding somewhere behind your leg. Flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times one way, a couple times the other way. Bend your knee in, open your knee out to the right, and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of the left leg, putting just the right amount of effort to be in each pose, and keep looking for unnecessary tension that you might let go of. <sighs> Let's release, bend the right knee, bring it across, spinal twist. Open out through your right arm, let your knee and shoulder reach away from one another. Staying in your twist, try straightening your right leg on a low diagonal, right arm on a high diagonal. And then release, roll back onto your back, bring both knees in, take a little circle, a rock, evening out your torso on your mat. <sighs> Grab hold of just the left knee, drop the right leg long, squeeze this knee in close. Straighten this leg up, flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times one way, a couple times the other way. Bend your knee in, open your knee out to the left and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of the right leg. <sighs> And 
And then release, bend your knee, bring it across, spinal twist. First with a bent knee. And then try straightening the left leg on a low diagonal, left arm on a high diagonal. And roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. Another little circle, a rock. And drop your feet to the floor, getting set up for some core work. Start by drawing the belly in, pressing the lower back down. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Exhale, lift, head and chest up. Inhale, release down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Let's take two more. Last one. Release down, send your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, head up towards your leg. Inhale, head down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Let's take one more. Release and switch. Left leg high. Exhale, head up. Inhale, head down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. One more. Let's switch again. Right leg high. This time, take your left arm across. And each time you exhale, reach a little further across. One more. And switch, last set, left leg high, right arm across. One more on the side. And then release, stretch long through your arms and legs. Bring your knees back in. A little circle or rock. And then roll your way up to sitting. Let's come all the way into a high push-up position. Setting hands right under shoulders. Whole body in a straight long line. Shift your weight forward to lower down. Low push-up. Come into your back bend as low or high as feels right. Cobra or up dog. And then back to down dog when you're ready, hips high. Take your time pedaling out your feet, bending one knee as you press the opposite heel towards the floor, waking up the backs of your legs. And then drop the knees and sink back to child's pose. Just practicing that is a good option. Remembering you have the option of resting anytime, whether you rest in this shape or a different one. With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left and then Pull back through your right head, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left head, stretching left side a bit more. And then back to center. 
Lift up through table, come back through down dog, and then walk your hands and feet towards one another. Let's hang in ragdoll, feet hip width apart, parallel. You can bend your knees a little or a lot, maybe a sway or shake out here. Hmm. And then bend your knees a little more and slowly roll up. Coming all the way up to standing. Stepping up to the front of the mat and coming into mountain pose. Feet can be together or apart. Hands together at your heart. Let's take a full A-series sun salutation. Next inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen, part way up. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra, and back to down dog. And let's take five deep breaths in down dog or any other neutral shape. You could come back to child's pose or sitting or to your forearms or knees. Resetting the intention to be present with what you're doing, to have that slow, steady breath. Last deep breath in and out. And come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up to the ceiling, bend your knee to your chest, and start circling this bent right knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, send it a little higher, and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge. Inhale, arms up. Sink low. Inhales, look for space and length. Exhales, more grounding, more ease. Last breath here. Tip forward, standing splits. Hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square and with the upper body letting go. Like ragdoll, let your head hang, let your neck release. Last breath. Step back, warrior one, inhale, arms up, sink low. Let's come into eagle arms with the right elbow on top. Put some pressure between the elbows as if you're trying to pull them apart, spreading the upper back. Little upper back arch, lifting the chest, but still sinking the hips nice and low. Lean your weight forward, come onto the toes of that back foot, and then step into Eagle Garudasana. Knee on top of knee. If you can, hook your ankle around your calf, do so. If it doesn't reach, just hug it in close. Last breath here. 
release, unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. You may want to grab a block for your bottom hand or bend your bottom leg or both. We're going towards a long straight line from one arm to the other. Towards a long straight line from your head to your left foot. Expanding from the center past the ends of the body. Last breath here. Release. Make your way back to down dog. You might take a vinyasa. You might just step back. Feel whatever it is you are choosing to do. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Bend your knee in. Start circling. Exploring the full range of motion for this hip joint. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, send it a little higher, and then left knee towards, left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across, towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. And right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge. Arms up. Settle in. Sink low. Feeling right where you are. Using what you're feeling and what you know to come into a full expression of each, show, each pose. Last breath here, tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple blocks. We'll do this with hips square. Upper body letting go. Last breath. Step back. Warrior one. Eagle arms, left elbow on top. Hips low, heart high. Shift your weight forward, come onto the toes of that back foot, and then step into Eagle, Garudasana, grounding, sinking, but also lifting, engaging, releasing, feeling all the oppositions in each shape. What's useful to expand here? What is there to release? Unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. And we're each doing our best, given what we understand and are able to do. See if you can allow the results of that to be just as they are. And the secret is they're going to be as they are, whether you allow them or not. <laughs> so it's a nice practice and Surrendering. <sighs> One more breath here. Release. Make your way to down dog. <sighs> And settle into any neutral shape, whether that's down dog or something else. Mm -hmm. Let's come to hands and knees, tabletop. We'll get set up for a twist here, thread the needle. 
Starting with hands under shoulders, knees under hips, lift the left arm up. Curl from fingertips down, thread it through. Come onto your shoulder inside of your head and then push the right hand into the floor or into your forearm, opening through the top shoulder. There are lots of other variations, so if you wanna take your arm up or wrap it around behind your back or lift the left knee, feel free to experiment and learn through trial and error. How does this work for my body now? Let's release, unwind, come back to neutral. Maybe a few rolls through the spine to release what you've just done. And then from neutral, right arm lifts up this time. Curl from fingertips down, thread it through, come onto your shoulder inside of your head. Push the left hand into the floor or into your bottom forearm. Let's release. rolls through the spine or any other front to back or side to side movement, letting go of what you've just done, evening out the two sides. And coming back through down dog. And let's set up for a pigeon pose, right side, slide the right knee forward. Set up any support that might be useful, something under your hip or chest or forehead. Keeping breath slow and deep. Bring the upper body back up. Take your time coming back to down dog. So it could be just stepping back, might be some movement transition. Same thing other side when you're ready. Left knee comes forward. Adjusting the angle, adjusting how your weight is distributed, if support is useful. And it can be helpful to have somebody just tell you what to do and what you might feel while you're doing it. But I like to think of that as training wheels that you use only as long as you need to. And as soon as you're ready to take them off, then there is no right or wrong. How could there be? This was all made up by people. And I have a feeling those people had a different body than you and I have. So we can take the intention of you know, the intention that I have anyhow is to create as much health and well-being in this body as I can. And so in doing that, I'm going to try and move in all the ways that I can move, noticing what's tight, weak, and balanced, and then moving towards what's tight in order to open it, what's weak in order to strengthen it, and what's imbalanced in order to balance it out as best I can. So that work's going to look pretty different because we all have different bodies and different needs. So it very quickly becomes quite personal. I might tell you exactly what I'm doing, but you might need to do something totally different in order to get uh, optimal results for you. So being willing to be curious, to not know, and learn through trial and error. The body's giving us feedback all the time. Can you listen to it? If 
feel free to try something a little different. See how that feels. Mm. Let's release, make your way back to down dog through any movement transition. And then come through to sitting and all the way onto your back. Bring your knees in, take a circle or rock again, and then we'll get set up for a couple back bends, starting with bridge. Drop your feet to the floor, hip width apart, parallel. Press your feet down, lift your hips high. Once your hips are high enough, interlace your fingers behind your back, shrug your shoulders underneath you. And stay here as long or short as you like. Whenever the pose feels complete, come down and rest. And then if you want to come up again, come up again. If you don't, just stay resting. And you can repeat that process until you don't feel like coming up again. So you might have a lot of back bends in you today. You might want to take it easy. Whenever you're done, take a counter stretch, happy baby or something else, whatever you need to release your back. I'm going to wind down this practice. If you want to keep going, you're welcome to. If you want to wind down with me, what do you need to feel complete? Is there some last pose or stretch or something you want to do? Before coming into Shavasana, could be a little self-massage. Could be a yoga pose, could be some movement. Could be adjusting your clothing or getting props in order. Whenever you're ready, come into stillness. Let go of the control of your breath. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and increase that movement as you're ready through your wrists and ankles, eventually stretching out long. When you're ready, bring your knees in. And roll to one side. Use your hands to help you up to sitting. And bring hands together at the heart. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for your support in all the ways you do that. Liking, sharing what I'm doing, financial support by Venmo, PayPal, Patreon are all very much appreciated.